Warning, this video may contain language unsuitable for younger audiences and may also contain poor workshop practices. Please remember to stay safe when working. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to What on Props. Uh, I'm going to try and make this really, really quick because the big project that I promised is coming up. I've just not planned it yet. <laughs> um, that's basically the, the long and short of it, really. Um, I am planning it out. It's just taking me a while. Um, so today I'm starting just a really quick uh, video, which I completely forgot. I wanted to do this and forgot I was going to do it until I saw this today. Um, basically, quick backstory. My girlfriend re recently bought a pub. And when she was decorating it, we needed a bunch of washers, uh, the tiny little metal washers, little spacers. And to buy, I went and bought them, paid by card, but to pay by card out to spend something stupid like £10, we needed like 50p worth of washers. So I went and bought this. Nothing fancy, nothing special, just a square. It's not high quality because you can see it was a, a cast. You can tell quite clearly it was a cast because of that. Lots of jagged, sharp edges that weren't cleaned up. I'm not complaining because I, I need one of these at some point anyway. But it wasn't worth the seven pound I paid. Um, but the kind of pro of it is that I get a video out of it. So one man's trash is another man's treasure, I guess. Uh, that's literally it. All I'm doing today is. I'm going to clean up some of the edges, um, I'm going to do a lot of it by hand, anything, there's quite big edges maybe, can you see that? Kind of just about, a lot, some of the bigger edges, that like it'll take a while, I might use my bench grinder, I'm not sure, that, that's literally it. I'm going to clean this up, make it so it's a bit more usable, get rid of all the nasty edges, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, there we go. I've got almost 10 minutes and we've got our first relatively flat edge. Not too bad. Now for the other side and probably another 10 minutes. Okay, that one took about four minutes, which is uh, quite nice. This face, this edge here was actually a lot nicer than the one on the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, I think I want to challenge, uh, take on this challenge, which is this side. Uh, that could take me a while. That might be better on the uh, grinder I've got. So, what I'm actually going to do is move on to these inside edges because they are really rough. They are not fun to look at. That's all. So here we go again.
Uh, okay, so what we're working on here is if my phone will kind of focus. It's not interested in focusing on the shiny metal. Basically, it says pivot right there. And so this is supposed to be a hollowed out little uh, dot for something to obviously fit in to use as a pivot point, obviously. Uh, so I'm doing my best. I did have a set of these. Uh, Magnuson, I think they are. Is that what they're called? I can't remember. Um, I had a set of these and I'm sure it's a set like five or six. I'm down to literally two. Uh, a flat and a triangle. I did have a round one. The round has been perfect for this, but I'm kind of making do with whatever I've got here. <laughs> myself in the face with it. <laughs> okay, so that edge is smooth. That's not going to cut me up anymore. That edge is nice and smooth. Edges are nice. That edge still needs to be dealt with. That's fine. That could be do. That's not going to hurt me, but I could. Uh, it's still not quite even. So let's work on that again. I guess. This is where having a vise would be super handy because holding this, I'm holding this just on its point, on its edge, it's, just, it's hard to work with because it's hard to hold straight and apply force to the same object. Like it's, it's a bugger because I don't want to knacker my bench, but this might have to do. All the edges, sorry, cleaned up. I'd love to clean up the actual front of this, but with some of the cast defects, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a little bit pointless. Uh, I can see each number, that's not too big of an issue. When I say casting defects, I mean, if I can try and find one on this side. Uh, no, no, that's, it's tiny. But that's a casting defect. Actually, in this light, you can see this entire thing. You know, it looks a little bit not cracked, but it looks like um, like cracked paint a little bit, I guess. They're very mild, very mild uh, casting defects. This one is a big one, which kind of bothers me. Like I know what it says. I can read that it says degrees, but it just bothers me that things like this. Obviously, this is why it's so cheap. It's very cheaply cast, but um. 
here. As much as I'd love to clean it up, I think I'm going to leave a face. I'm going to finish this edge off on my belt grinder, like I've mentioned a couple of times now. Um, and then this is pretty much done, as far as I can tell. There's another one. Uh, you can see the they look like tiny holes. That's basically what they are. Um, but when you buy a roofing square for, <laughs> that's made out of aluminium and is you know less than seven pounds, kind of what you uh, this is the kind of thing you should expect. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I wasn't expecting this to be a, a piece of art. You know, I, I knew what I was getting into when I bought it. Um, but yeah, it just sucks, obviously. Wanting to clean it and not being able to, I think that's the thing I'm kind of a little bit more gutted about. Um, so I'll get the bench grinder set up and I'll see what we can do. Okay, so jumping in real quick here. If you're doing anything like this, where you're gonna start using power tools, especially with metal, make sure you've got the correct uh, health and safety. I, I am gonna try and do a video on health and safety at some point. Um, so as of right now, I'm gonna be using a bench grinder, which is obviously a dangerous tool anyway, but I'm also grinding metal. This shouldn't spark, because it's aluminium, not steel or iron. This shouldn't spark, but in case it does, because if you think about it, I am taking off burrs and little bits of metal if they get hot they can um basically that's what a spark is it's just a piece of metal that's insanely hot this could spark i don't know so i've got my eye protection on i've got hearing protection i've got one in i'll throw the other one in a second obviously under my hat uh, you can see just in the background here i've got a first aid kit if i uh if anything goes wrong here i know everything that's in there I know everything is within date, so if I, I don't know, I don't know, let's say this fractures, let's say one of these imperfections shatters and, I don't know, gouges into my arm, I know how to protect myself, I know how to deal with that because I'm first aid trained, I understand the risks that I'm taking here. If you're going to do something like this, please, please, please have a first aid kit, a fire extinguisher, which I am currently trying to work on, um, first aid training. Make sure you have these things because it, all it takes is one slip and this could this could go through my wall. This could hit me in the neck. Now, yeah, again, I've just blunt, blunted all the edges. These, are, these aren't sharp anymore. That doesn't mean that these can't hurt me, right? Um, I'll save the rest of my know-how for a separate video. Just kind of a heads up that if you are going to do something like this, please, any form of woodwork, uh, woodwork, metalwork, just anything in general, just be safe. Know what you're doing, know the consequences of your actions, because if anything goes wrong here, I can't blame this. I can't blame Erbauer, who make the, the, uh, the my bench grinder. I can't blame these things, I blame myself, because I'm the one that's in control of everything. Um, if my belt sander breaks it's my fault for not maintaining it properly or not changing the uh the belt properly things like that it always comes down to the user don't get me wrong if if you're using a nail gun and the nail gun explodes there's not much you can do about it but you need to know the risks and that's kind of what i'm getting at and i understand the risks and the consequences of what i'm doing i'm prepared first aid i'm first aider first aid kit I understand and I know what I'm doing, so please, 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 if you're doing anything like this, if you want to buy one of these cheap and follow along, by all means do, just know the consequences if something goes wrong. That's all. That's the video. <laughs>
Uh, another thing that I did want to mention as well is this gets hot very quickly. You know, obviously, you, like you're sanding metal, it's bound to get hot. Um, however, I can't lie, I'm super happy with the finish that's put on. I don't know what grit it's even on that. I want to say it's 40 or a 60. I'm pretty sure it's 60. Uh, that's not a really good job. And I got really lucky that the um, the thickness of this here, um, I don't know what to call it, that lip, is perfectly, this stuff that I used my floor, this was a little bit that I had to rip out. I can't remember why, uh, but I did. But it was like perfect. Uh, because I wanted, obviously I need that grind, let me start that again. Uh, <laughs> uh, I needed this to be perfectly flat. Otherwise it's not going to be very good as a square if I'm doing something like this and it's... You can't see because I've not changed the camera. If I'm doing something like... If I'm, I don't know, for some reason measuring this against my mini saw here, I don't want this to be crooked and off-centre like either way. So make sure that's perfectly flat is, per is good and that's why this so much just holds it up for me and I can sand across really uh, nice and even. Give it a nice finish, I'm quite happy with that. And to be fair, that's pretty much all I can do with this. I've cleaned all the sharp edges off with my little files here. Again, could it would have been really handy to have my circular one, but that just can't be choosers. Um yeah, I'm Genuinely quite happy with this. I was expecting something to go wrong at some point, but um, no, I'm, I'm happy. I've got nice clean edges. Nothing's gonna. I might take um, just a little bit off the edges because they're they're not sharp, but they're not as round as I'd like to be. Like them to be. Um, I'm pretty sure I just felt a metal burst. No, let's go. My imagination. <laughs> yeah, so I might take that off really quick. There's no point filming that, you, you've seen me hand sanding plenty already. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all we've got for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our latest projects. PSA for anyone who made it this far, firstly thank you, um, and secondly, look after your shop, look after your shop and it'll look after you, see you next time.